Hello everyone and welcome to MHS Sports on MHTV. I'm Jess Burton and today we're at Stoneham Arena as the sixth seed headers boys hockey team takes on the second seed Shawshine Valley Tech Rams in the final four of the MIAA Division III State Tournament. The contest today is brought to you by the Massachusetts Interscholastic Athletic Association. This association is responsible for governing, coordinating, and promoting educational athletics and aims to provide student athletes with the best high school experience possible. The MIAA stresses the values of interscholastic athletics from discipline and commitment to sportsmanship and teamwork. Visit the MIAA website today at miaa.net and explore all they have to offer. The 15, 9, and 1 six seeded headers are ready to go against the number two seeded 22, 1, and 0 oh, Shashin Rams for a chance in the state championship in Division Three. In net for the visitors, or for the higher seed, the visitors to us, Mike Cedrone. Opposing him for the headers, Leo Burge in net. These two have been absolutely outstanding so far in the tournament as. Cedrone fights off the first one he sees from the headers. Cedrone has only allowed one goal through the three games that Shashin has played, while Burge has only allowed four goals through the three wins for the headers to get to this point. Out there for the top line for Shashin in front of Cedrone is Banda and Kaladi defending Milne, DC, and Gray. And we have a breakaway for Shashin right away that Burge turns it to the side. Big hit laid by Sedke following it. Each goalie one for one so far. Burge is more, da more difficult. Top line for the headers. Toby Grenier and Hogan Sedke on the back line. Radovsky, Kyle Hart, and James Karen up front. And they'll need a big game from that duo if they want to get out of here with a win. These two teams played back on February 15th. It was a 4-1 Rams win going into that game. The headers were riding a seven-game unbeaten streak, 6-0-1 at the time. They're riding another six-game unbeaten streak into this matchup with the Rams. This one's on neutral ice, and the headers are hoping to be the one that comes out the victor today. This is chipped towards center ice. Picked up by the headers, and they are slowed up before the blue line. It's Charlie Grenier, the assistant captain, ran into one of the Rams defenders. This is backhanded past center ice. The Rams chase it down in the far corner. It's Dylan Higson who was first to it. Spun back towards the blue line. Flip now beneath the goal line. Burge takes a look to his left. He tracks the puck as Sean Dolan takes a hit. Two headers caught up in the corner. The puck squirts free towards the blue line. Rams keep possession. They fling it towards the target. It goes into the near corner. Sean Dolan with some space. Flips it up through the neutral zone. And that will be our first icing of the game. Good pace to the opening minutes of this one. 13.06 left in the first period. Three 15-minute periods are set to be played here this afternoon. Face off far circle. And Kyle Hart gets tossed from it. His replacement, Karen. Controlled by the Rams, then they turn it over. Here's James Karen across center ice and the blue line. Hits the brakes, shakes the defender, flips it middle, and it gets by. A collision in the near corner. The puck now played out of there. Charlie Shannon on it for the Rams. Flips it towards the blue line. They can't clear the zone. Hart comes flying in. Helps to keep it in. Breaks the zone for a moment. And they fling it back down beneath the goal line. It gives the headers a chance to change on the back end. Shannon plays it across ice. It'll be played off the boards by Emenkowitz. It's sent in. And turned into the corner. Sedke gets hit. Once takes him down. Twice. The second time doesn't. The headers bench wanted a penalty. They're not going to get one as we played three minutes here. 
physical play through the first few minutes. The second meeting between these two teams, you expect there to be some fireworks because they've known each other for a bit. There's a huge hit in neutral ice going through the slot. And James McKenzie took the worst of it. So that was Banda on the other side. Wrong roster, stepping up and firing is Higson. It goes high over the crossbar. Puck tails in the neutral zone, played by the defense. That was McKenzie, almost poked it away. Now he does get a piece. And able to put it into the attacking zone for a moment. Out with it comes Darcy, one of the captains for the Rams. He sends it the length of the ice. Nice play by Ben Wales. It's back on Wales' stick. Gives a peek, finds Feingold. Noah Feingold, number 10, scored his first career goal in the 2-1 win over number three, Situate. He got the headers on the board, and then it was Charlie Grenier who ultimately put away the Sailors. Keenan Considine lost it for the Rams, trying to enter the zone. The headers come back with it. Put on net, save made. London McDonald, the shooter, right into the glove of Cedrone. Of a face off from the near dot. Kyle Hart will take it. Lined up against Patterson. Hart wins it. Back to Toby Grenier. Flings it across into space, chased down by Karen. Shoulder to shoulder with Banda. It pops free past the blue line. Sedke doing everything he can to keep it in. The Rams break free. A takedown from behind. Radovsky with the defensive play to jar the puck loose. Surprised there's no penalty. It looked like he held him. Would play through it. And Grenier now battling in the corner. Grenier just a sophomore. The younger of the two, he wears four. Charlie wears 13. Charlie, the ca assistant captain, senior. This is poked on net, deflected, and the save made by Burge. A little bit extra after, as things are heating up here in the first period. Burge with a couple big saves here in the first period already. Shot off the faceoff, blocker saved by Burge. Great concentration to turn that one away. The shot came from Darcy. That'll clear the length of the ice, and it'll be icing. They'll skate it back down for a faceoff in front of Burge. Played just outside the blue line and dumped in. All the Rams have to get back. They cut it off just above the blue line, but then it escapes. Glove down by Kyle Gray. He possesses. That's deflected up into the netting. The late whistle as it bounces back down in front of Burge. Covers. Another face-off coming in front of Leo Burge. He'll look on to his left. Radovsky, no, McDonald in there for the headers. Wins it, uses his body as well to do so. Nice play in the circle by McDonald. He's back with it. 
He dumps it in, it wraps around the boards. The headers chase it down, they'll be able to keep it in. Sedke fires on target, turned away. Indirect pass off the boards, just out of reach of Higson, and it's deflected. Rams able to keep it in. Sedke to the backhand, trying to clear. He does. Makes Constantine circle back towards center ice. They dump it in, they'll change on the back end. Constantine, the only guy to go get it. Now he's joined by Patterson, who got a stick on it. Back with the headers, flipped ahead. In the center circle, touched forward by Feingold. But nobody's going to chase it down for the headers. Under eight minutes to play. Could have been a dangerous turnover. That one goes sky high and hits the ceiling and goes out of play. 7.45 left on the clock. Scoreless game. Final four. Headers and Rams. The headers looking to take out the number three seed and the number two seed and potentially have a meeting with the number one seed in Division Three. Nossett potentially waits in the championship. They'll play number 12, Somerset Berkeley Regional in the other Final Four game tomorrow. That is also flipped up out of play. It'll be a defensive zone draw for the headers. The header season could not have started out any more difficult than it did. They were 0-6 through their first six games, then they were 2-8. and eight. But finished the season, the regular season, 12-9-1. and one. Winning 10 of their final 12 games outright. And three straight here in the tournament. Two win streaks of six games to match that six game losing streak that they've forgotten all about at this point. Thrown out in front, looking for the tip in. Got off the stick of Hart, but went wide. Didn't have a lot of oomph behind it. That was actually Waldman, 16, not 15. Got his stick on it. There's a huge hit in front of the header's bench. And that'll be our first penalty of the game. Jake Banda will head to the box for the Rams and a power play opportunity for the headers. Sedke wins the draw. Karen fires low, almost had it. Kick save. Back to Karen. Fires again, this time into the chest protector. It's loose, they score! Off the rebound, it's loose in front, and it's one nothing headers. Kyle Hart. The heart and soul of the offense. Puts the headers on top in the first on the power play goal. He puts it in and jumps in the glass in front of the Shawsheen student section, then skates the length of the ice to celebrate in front of the headers student section. They're feeling good. It's a packed house here at the Stoneham Marina. And the headers fan base has something to cheer about right now. Up 1-0 against a team that's won 21 straight. Has not lost since their opener. The only loss from Sa Force Shawsheen this year coming against Winthrop as there's a dangerous redirect out in front. And Burge did not have the puck covered, but they blew it dead. And the Shawsheen fans are going to have something to say about that. Play should have continued. And the referees come to the rescue of the headers and Burge. The only loss for the Rams this season coming to Winthrop back on December 9th in the opener. 
The only loss for Winthrop this year, coming by way of the headers. So the headers have what it takes to beat a team of this caliber. The Rams won 4-1 between the two on home ice. Headers lead it, one nothing here in the first on neutral ice. And the second meeting between the two with a state championship berth on the line. Flipped up high, off the glass. Chased down by Radovsky. He's on the back of Banda, who committed the costly penalty. Here comes Patterson into the zone and has it knocked away. Flipped up by Amenkowitz, and we've got another penalty on the back end. And the headers fans are on their feet. You know what that means? It's going to be another power play. This time it's Gibbons. Oh, my mistake. Are they not sending anybody? My mistake, no power play. From the reaction from the crowd and the whistle and behind the play, it's exactly what it thought it could have been. Well, we play on it full strength, crossing the five minute mark here in the first. That deflects off the body of McKenzie and it stays in. Picked up by Amenkowitz. Sharp pass, connects. Kyle Gray drags it in. Gray with room to shoot, gives it up instead. And Burge, side to side, makes an incredible save. Gray had room to shoot it himself. A takeaway, a shot, and a save. Kyle Hart with the high wrister, gloved by Cedrone. Excellent saves on both ends of the ice. Face off one by the headers. They'll drop it beneath the goal line. Radowski had it for a moment on the backhand. It's taken away from him. Played forward. Higson chasing it down. Joined by T Bear. Tap forward. Karen trying to chase it down. He meets Colin Lawson, who's a half a stride ahead. Plays back to center ice, and Hart dumps it in. Four minutes to play in the first. Headers lead by one. Pass to Higson, and drags it behind him, sends it in. First one there is Dolan. Radovsky with speed out from behind the net, forgot to bring the puck with him. The Rams change. Played ahead by Wales. He'll hop off. Sedke hops on. Slaps it from just beneath center ice. It's going to go be offsides on the headers. Shawshane fans upset with the positioning of the faceoff. Comes in front of their own bench. Headers take a shot, caught a body, and goes wide. Grenier the shooter. Brought by center ice, dumped in by Banda. The magicians swarm to the puck. They take it away. Grenier takes a big hit, drops a stick. Puck plays out in front of him. It's tapped ahead by McKenzie. It'll break the blue line. Pass intended for Patterson, got by him. Now picked up 
Burge makes a save, denying Darcy. Darcy doing a great job picking up the loose puck and finding an opportunity to shoot. Burge batting a thousand so far. Headers control off to draw. It's Karen. He's a speedster. Across the blue line, shoots low. Fought aside, or fought up into the glove of Cedrone. Nice play by the Rams goalie. Off the stick right into the leather. 2.13 left in the first. Puck stays in the circle off the faceoff. Nobody could find it. That goes up and hits the ceiling. It is a very low ceiling here. Very small arena in general. It is packed wall to wall. Standing room only here at Stoneham Arena for this one. Kyle Gray across the blue line. Lost it, poked away by Dolan. They find it out in front, point blank shot off the side of the net. Uh, hit in the corner. The puck dragged off the wall by Grenier. Sent across. Waldman trying to chase it down, but the Rams will get there first. Charlie Shannon turns up ice, gets away from two defenders. Trying to get past the third, can't get by Kyle Hart. It's with Hart, and they're off sides by a step. Waldman got held up right at the blue line, and the puck found its way to Hart. And Hart brought it in while Waldman was still a bit across. And that would have been a juicy opportunity for the headers and for Hart looking for number two. He's the goal scorer. A minute and a half left in the first. That goes high off the glass but stays in play. Darian Constantine, the first to it. There are Constantine brothers on the team. They were 18 and 37. Here come the Rams, cross the blue line, played back out in front. And it's Toby Grenier who gets a piece. And from center ice, Karen Net. And it's gloved by Cedrone. 101 on the game clock. The Rams step in on the faceoff. It plays off a skate. They're trying to break out with it. It's T-Bear. He puts it into the glove of Burge. Leo seeing the puck well here this afternoon. He's caught a few in the glove, turned a few away with the blocker. Has his eyes on the faceoff here. It's won by the headers, controlled, but Hart was taken down in the process of trying to clear it. Under a minute left. Backhand played out in front. The pass was cut off. It eventually gets to the intended target. It was Milne who tried to turn and shoot. He whiffed. Back the other way come the headers. It's Karen. Gets it back to his forehand and gets pushed off his spot. Well played by Banda, but then they turn it over. Two on one on the doorstep. Cedrone makes the save, and he doesn't even know how. He was rolling over like a dog in the crease, but he stopped it. Slapped towards the crease and turned away by Sedke. That'll go the length of the ice and bring us to the end of the first period. And the headers lead it, one nothing. Kyle Hart is the goal scorer for the headers. And before we take a break, I'd like to let you know that the MIAA would also like to remind you that 
High school sports provide an extension of the classroom where students learn to pursue excellence, the value of working with others toward a common goal, playing within the structures of established rules, discipline, loyalty, and emotional control. And the MIAA urges you to demonstrate your support for these values and for our young people by attending high school competitions in your community. This high school competition is very well attended, and we'll be back with period two. You're watching MHS Sports on MHTV. Welcome back inside Stone Marina for period two between the six seeded headers who have a one nothing lead over the Shawsheen Rams, ranked number two in division three. And this is a position that the Rams have not found themselves in this postseason that's trailing in a game. They won 3-1 over Hopedale and shut out their round of 16 and round of eight opponents. So the headers have put a lot of pressure on the Rams here. Let's see if they can continue to pound them here in period number two. Kyle Hart, the goal scorer on the power play. The only penalty we had in the first. Takes the opening face off and wins it for the D headers. Plays it near side off the boards. Across ice and into the defensive zone. Picked up there by the Rams and pushed forward. Hogan Sedke chasing down the puck. He and Kyle Gray with a huge collision. And just like that, the Rams tie it up at one. It bounces off the boards and they beat Burge before he could turn his head. One to one. And they don't trail for long. Just 23 seconds into the second. They tie it. Played ahead, here's a second chance for them right away. Played through the slot, overshot the target, it ends up right outside the crease. And good awareness by Dolan to get it out of there. Two on two, played outside the crease again, it bounces back to the puck handler. It was Kulati, and then the Rams run into one another. Opens ice up just for a moment for the headers, but they'll dump it in and change bodies. Some of the Rams frustrated with how that play ended up, and I would be too. Here's a three on one. The headers can't slam it home. Rebound in the crease and covered up by Cedrone. Sedke and Feingold had a chance at that. Feingold, the last poke at it. I think the Rams' goal was scored by Liam Milne. Played off the boards, beneath the goal, to the far corner. Flipped back near side by McDonald. Sedke keeps it in, puts it on target, sticked aside, stays in play, high off the glass. And it breaks the blue line. Toby Grenier plays it back in. McDonald playing with it in the corner, has it knocked away. Clears the blue line. Sedke tried to glove it, he dropped it. Now he's challenging. Fans wanted a hook call, so he got tied up with Higson. Rams would have been offside there on a touch. It bounces back to Higson. He comes into the zone. He puts it right into the glove of Burge. One to one as the Rams strike 27 seconds into the period to tie it and almost get a second one there, but they go high over the corner of the goal and out of play. Momentum has shifted here into the second period. 
The Rams feeling it now. Headers need to stay poised. Just the fifth goal allowed by Burge to the three plus playoff games. Cedrone has only allowed two with the one by Hart today. This will get to Cedrone, he sticks it away to a teammate. It gets back to Wales who sends it back in into the corner. Wales tracking the puck off the boards. He'll go get it quickly off his stick. It flips up, plays ahead to Karen. He's loose and a great slide in play to block the shot by Charlie Shannon. Sacrificing himself, putting him his body on the ice in front of that hard shot. He forces a face-off with that play. The header student section on their feet behind Cedrone, trying to will the headers to a second goal and to take the lead back. The Rams send it the length of the ice. Beneath the goal line, Toby Grenier goes down, trying to block a pass. Waldman has his stick taken out of his hands. And that hit Waldman on its way through, and lucky it did. There were two Rams lined out in front, ready to receive the pass. Good shooting range. Waldman takes a whack at it, not once, but twice. Gray goes sliding into the boards. He's embellishing that. Looking for a call, it plays just out in front of the crease. And McKenzie is dragged down. He and Culleti meet. As McKenzie was attacking. This is high, glove down, kept in. Temp the tempers are starting to rise here for both sides. It has been a physical game from the jump. That's a block on the dump in. That hits Keenan Considine, and Keenan's wearing that one. That one hurt. It's back with Considine, looking for a pass out in front where the headers. Wales dumps it in and spins back. It wraps around the boards. And played by Cullity on the far side. They come back above the near corner. Wales keeps it in. It's deflected on its way through and goes over the elbow of the goal. This will get to Burge. He'll tap it aside to Wales. Wales off the boards. It doesn't break the blue line. Good hustle by Ben Wales to get back to it. He chases it to center ice. And he gets drilled as he caught an edge. There was a hit above his head, but he was falling. Wales shakes it off, he's back on his skates. Play continues out in front. Radovsky with it, he gets hit. It jars the puck loose. Neither team being shy about hitting. Now the referee's letting him play a lot. This is brought out in front, dragged with him. Patterson gets sandwiched, lost the puck. You want to make the state championship game, you're going to have to earn it here tonight. And leave with some bumps and bruises. Played off the boards, it breaks past everybody. Kyle Hart picks it up, hits the brakes, spins, looks out in front. The pass is broken up, it finds Karen, he shoots, saves made. Cedrone turn it aside. Karen back with it. Drops it for Adowski, back to James. James spinning, puts it out in front, deflected, knocked around. It caught Cedrone. Cedrone had... pops away from the goal. Now back beneath the goal line. Radovsky can find it beneath the skates, and it clears. Five new bodies hop on the ice for the Rams. Long shift for the headers. They change one on the far side. This is Sedke. He brings it in. Drops it back. 
Pass middle, broken up. Waldman finds it, shoots, blocker save. Second shot, McKenzie steps in on it. Didn't get all of it, it bounces off the boards. Toby Grenier with a shot, another save by Cedrone. That's kicked aside. McKenzie with another chance. Rams trying to break out. Taken off the boards. It's Milne looking for number two. Can't slam it home. Second chance off the crossbar and out of play. Darcy flipped the backhand past Burge off the crossbar. Both fan bases rocking right now. They love the effort from both sides. How could you not? Both Burge and Sajone playing absolutely superb. And 110% from every skater out in front of them. It's the final four, you better leave it all out there. This is high off the glass, but it stays in. The header's trying to chip it up the boards and out, having trouble. They can't, it gets back to Wales quickly. He'll be able to get it in the air and it goes the length of the ice. They wave off icing. Picked up by Banda, just over seven minutes left. Tibbert picks up some momentum. Three on two with some trailing. Backhand behind the net. Wales plays it. Big hit. Laid on Dolan, when the puck on, it, on its edge will wheel down past the goal line for an icing. Despite all the physical play, we've only had one penalty called in the game. It's gone against the Rams and it turned into a goal for the headers. The Rams Goal coming at even strength, 27 seconds into this period to tie it. Here's Hart. Into a crouch, tried to get by the defender but couldn't keep the puck. Two on one behind the net in favor of the Rams. They come out with it. They send it across the ice. Gloved down by Spengler. Burge watches it bounce off the boards behind him. Patterson picks it up. His shot was blocked. Not a lot on it. Patterson tries to weave around Hart. He lost it. Great job by Hart to get a stick in there. This pops up at center ice. Karen controls, spins and dumps it in. Takes a look to the bench. He'll head off. Slapped in by Charlie Grenier. Wraps around to the near side. And Waldman just hit, missed a huge hit on Timmons. But if you are the headers, you don't want to take a penalty. Those two meet again at the blue line. The puck bouncing, loose, tough to pick up. Out of the bunch comes Kyle Gray. Gray had a great scoring opportunity in the first, or so it looked like, but he passed it instead. And it, the tip in was one of Burge's best saves of the season. That'll be icing. Faceoff will come in front of Burge, near side. <laughs> McDonald. Wins the draw, possesses. Looks up ice, sends a bouncing puck. Past Noah Feingold, who's chasing it down on the back of Amenkowitz. Amenkowitz whiffs. It bounces back to him. Overshoots his target this time. Kept in at the blue line initially by Dolan. Then he makes a great play on the secondary exit. That could have been a breakout chance for the Rams that Dolan just saved. They turn it over, and a deflected shot 
A soft pop-up by McDonald, gloved by Cedrone. One to one with 4.43 left. The header's goal coming in the first, the Rams here in the second. The second meeting between these two teams. Rams took the first one 4-1 on February 15th. A lot higher stakes here today, a chance at the state championship on the line. Here's a shot with a juicy rebound out in front. That's the first one, one of few maybe, that Cedrone has not caught cleanly. Headers couldn't make him pay on the rebound. The Rams clear it the length of the ice. And we'll set up for a face-off near circle. Attack and end for the headers. Big face-off for the Rams defensively here. One by the headers. Sedke, a one-timer. Locker to side. It was off target anyway. Just a bit wide of the net. Sedke sends this one in. It bounces off the back of the net and is kept in. Hart gloves it off the glass. Keeps it himself. Pops back out above the goal line. Down to Karen. Karen with looking for a quick pass as he always does out in front. But this time it's intercepted by Tibbert. Tibbert gets hit by Grenier. And Toby Grenier lays a couple hits. Meant Considine behind the net as well. Big block by Toby Grenier on that play. Off a skate to a stick. Passed across. Considine blocked out in front. And Burge got a blocker and popped it up over the net. Dangerous bounce that Burge volleyballed away. It's cleared. And that's another icing. What a play by Burge. Great concentration to tap that out of the air. High enough to get it over the net. Face-off bounces through the slot. Waldman lost a glove. Icing. Sedke was able to step up and shoot it off the last face-off from this spot. See if the headers can win this one. Wales is waiting. Clean win by the Rams this time, though. They needed it. Quick pass off the boards. Overshoots two targets for the Rams, and it's played back in by the headers. Strong hit on the far side. Sends McKenzie down. Rams. Cross center ice with it. It's Milne. That goes high and it bounces off the ceiling, waiting for a whistle. The crowd getting restless as the whistle didn't come at first. And Milne went down hard in the corner. He took the referee with him. That's maybe why the whistle didn't come right away. The puck does not have very far to go before it hits the ceiling here in this arena. They say it's a regulation, regulation size rink. If it is, it is squeezed in here between these four walls. But it makes for a fun game atmosphere in front of a packed house, which we have today. The third quarter is going to be rocking. Here's an outlet pass. They score! McDonald! 2-1, headers! What a pass!
the sophomore London McDonald puts the headers back on top and the student section letting Mike Cedrone hear it. And London McDonald circled back and had something to say to the Rams goalie as well. He's got to be careful there. But McDonald shook him out of his shoes, put it top shelf, and the headers are back on top. 2.14 left in the period. Karen rips one off the mask of Cedrone. He readjusts the helmet, play continues in front of him. What a shot by Karen. He's head hunting. And he took the horns right off the Rams goalie. And the ref's gonna check on Cedrone. He might have put a crack in the helmet. That'll wake you up. If you're not already awake, you better be. You're down 2 1. State championship berth on the line. Headers have a chance to take a lead into the locker room. For the second time today, a minute 35 left in the second. This flips up and just stays underneath the ceiling. McDonald chases it down. He's met there by Amenkowitz. And the Rams gonna give McDonald a little extra if they can. And after he scored that goal and had something to say about it. This wraps around the boards. Down beneath the goal line, but beneath Burge, the Rams change. Karen takes a bump, sends it deep. Quickly back to center ice. Sedke, diagonal, all the way off the glass in the corner. Final 35 seconds, Sedke back on it. Backhand into the zone. There's gonna be a penalty against the headers. That's gonna be their first. Hart as he pushed Considine from behind. A light shove, but it knocked Considine off his skates. With 20 seconds left in the period, a chance for the Rams to tie it up before the break or carry momentum over it to the third with a five on four, needing a goal to tie it now. Played almost the whole second period tied until the headers broke it moments ago. Taken away in the near circle. They wave off icing. Final five seconds. And that does it for period number two. The Rams strike early, the headers strike late, take the lead back 2-1 after two. We'd also like to remind you that MHTV is a 501c3 nonprofit. If you're enjoying this production of MHS Sports on MHTV, please consider making a donation by visiting our website, marbleheadtv.org, and clicking on the donate button. Stay tuned for the third period. The headers are 20 minutes away from a trip to the state championship. Welcome back inside Stone Marina. The headers are 15 minutes away from punching their ticket to the state championship. But a huge minute and 40 seconds here to begin the third period. The headers have to stay focused. 
as they seemed a bit unfocused coming out of the locker room after the first break, allowing the Rams to score the game. Tying goal at that point, just 23 seconds in, and now they're out of the locker room, and it's a five on four in favor of the Rams for a minute 40, trailing by one. Kyle Hart and London McDonald have the goals for the headers. Liam Milne, the goal scorer for the Rams, and we are underway here in period number three. The opening faceoff chases down beneath the goal line and the puck gets stuck on the fresh ice. For a moment it looked like Avon Radovsky would have a chance at it. But the Rams control across center ice, fluttered across. And dropped back. And Kyle Gray flips it. And a chance for a breakout here for the headers. Radovsky all alone. Defense closing in, gives it up and the pass is off target. And Radovsky goes sliding into the boards. Karen picks it up in the corner, flips it back out to Radovsky, who is back on his skates, but could not get a shot off. A breakaway spoiled for the headers. Almost a short-handed chance off the bat. And the Rams, a little tentative, breaking the line, are offsides. Fifty-three seconds into the third. Neutral zone face-off, won by the Rams, pushed forward. And backtracking on it was Dolan, and able, able to get enough of it to slap it to the boards. Considine couldn't shovel it off the boards initially. Gets to center ice with the Rams control and play it back in. On the backhand of McKenzie, trying to clear. Can't near side, he'll swing it back around far side where it's cut off. The fresh ice slowing down the pace of the puck here. That's on net and Burge closes the pads and secures it between his legs. He's making saves in all kinds of ways. Glove side, blocker side. Showing he can do it with the legs. 13 seconds left on the power play for the Rams. They keep it in. Into the slot. High shot. Bounces hard off the glass. And the goal comes off its post. A big time rip by Darcy from the slot. Went over the crossbar. Got a Rams rebound. It dropped right outside the corner of the crease and the goal. Traffic in front, knock the pipes off their posts. They'll reset the goal and have a face off near circle. Bodies go down, the puck stays exactly where it was on the dot. Taken out of there by Radovsky across to Karen. Karen puts a move on, shakes the defender, then no one home out in front for the headers. Played through the center circle by Timmons. Timmons drags it with him, drops a pass. Patterson couldn't get it off his stick. The headers with momentum across the blue line. It's Hart, he has it poked away. Great play by Shannon on the back check. Now Timmons for the Rams. Gets around the loose stick. His shot blocked right away. Off the body of Toby Grenier. Played back across the timeline. Cullity sends it in. The ref will clear away the debris. The puck in the circle, now pops beneath the, the goal line. Grenier and Patterson meet. Patterson sends it out towards the blue line, a blocked shot by McKenzie. It bounces over to Waldman. He's gonna dump in Chase, but he won't get back to it. Band is there. He's pressuring Band on the back. Stays. In the attacking zone for the headers, Waldman. A slow moving shot just outside the crease. Now it bounces to the Rams. Darcy trying to split defenders. He did, but couldn't bring the puck with him. He gets back to it, sends a sharp pass right to the goal mouth. Only one there. 
who is wearing black and red, named Ben Wales. Wales takes it out of there and flips it ahead, and he'll exit. No, excuse me, he stays on. McKenzie goes off. Wales has played a ton of ice time tonight, and he has been strong on the back end. This is flipped towards center ice. Noah Feingold trying to chase it down. Noah getting some encouragement from the Marblehead faithful. This goes through center ice. Grenier and Darcy run into one another. That loosens up the puck, and that goes on target. About 180 feet, and Cedrone has to hug the goal line in order to keep it out. We've played just above four minutes. Here in the third period, the headers have a 2-1 lead. There's a collision at the blue line. Rams fans want to hold. Justin T-Bear was dragged down. That's a light pass sent across. It was never going to make it to its target. Considine had to step in on that to play it. Radovsky and Hart beneath the goal line. Kept in by Karen. Turns and fires. Spins to the far side. Nice play by Wales to pin the Rams attacker on the boards and keep the puck in. He shut down the exit of Charlie Shannon. Into the slot. Wales got a piece. It's high off the glass. It bounces back in front of the goal. Wales back to it. Plays it towards the blue line, kept in by the Rams. And now it breaks free into the neutral area. Timmons had it for a moment for Shashin. Charlie Grenier got caught up with one of the Rams players just beneath the blue line. That's a long pass. Dolan gets a piece of. Not going to allow that. This time it's Sedki who makes the play on it, but he ices it. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, at the conclusion of the game, the entrance is at the end of the building of the goals. Everybody has to exit through the side of the side doors behind the stands. Thank you very much. London McDonald will take the draw for the headers against Patterson. The headers control. A two on three their way. And they get held up. Under nine minutes to play. The winner of this game will play either the top seed in Division Three, Nosset or Somerset Berkeley Regional. Their game will take place tomorrow. The championship at the Garden, Sunday, St. Patrick's Day. The Rams need a goal to tie it. The header is eight and a half minutes away. From a team that started 0-6. They're two wins away from a state championship. They lead it here in the final four. 2-1 over the number two seed after defeating the number three seed in their last game. Kyle Hart just took a hard shot to the back and he goes down. And he's the star for the headers and he's hurting and he goes off. Wax the boards in frustration. And Burge's stick just snapped in half. He is stickless. He's calling to the bench. He needs a stick. The Rams recognize him. The header's goalie is stickless. They have to slide one out to him. They have to change, get a proper body on. Play continues in front of the Rams bench. The header's doing everything they can to keep it in. They get a stick to Burge. Waldman gets out there and brings him the new hardware. This should ice the puck, and they'll be able to clean up the mess in front of him. But a frantic moment there for the header's and their junior goalie 
he'll go get one of his own sticks, one he feels more comfortable with. Oh man, oh man. If the Rams had been able to get it across center ice, it would have been an interesting play to see if he would have been able to make a stop without a stick. Great job by the headers. Stay on the attack. Face off in front of Cedrone. 7-16 left. Grenier pinned it for a moment. It breaks free. Gibbons. Gibbons just wide of the net. Thrown through the slot. No one home on the other side. Kept in. Burge watches it roll into the near corner. The Rams stay with it. Patterson circles back out towards the blue line, sends it across. Tough one to handle for Banda. Gets back to it. Banda tried to get to his backhand, was knocked off his spot, and the headers clear it. A spin by Cullity. Looked like he got hooked and hit. He'll play through it. Headers clear the puck. And that tips off the stick of gray up into the protective netting. It'll force a face off in the neutral zone. 6.05 left in the third period. A scoreless third so far. Hart made it one nothing headers in the first. Milne tied it 23 seconds into the second and McDonald is the difference maker. On his breakaway goal set up by a great pass by Hogan Sedke. And that came late in the second before the Rams went on a power play that split the periods they could not cash in on. This is Gray, he gets a shot off and it goes up high. It was deflected into the net. Defensive zone draw for the headers. These become the most important face-offs of the game right here. Late defensive zone draws. And it's Kyle Hart. And nope, they're gonna call in Karen. Karen versus Gray. They both drop to the ice. Gloved down by Shannon. Kept it in for a moment, and now it breaks free. Radovsky pressuring, doing enough. It finds Karen. Karen off the post. He got hit as he let it go, and he still almost scored. That would have been absolutely ridiculous. And it probably would have sent the headers to the state championship. He missed by inches. Grenier takes his time. Outlet pass to Hart. Blocked shot. Considine standing in front of that one and it bounces off the boards. Over to Cedrone who covers. Four forty nine left. Puck held up in the circle. Found by Lawson, who plays it forward. The shot by the Rams off of Burge. Back far side on the backhand. It's loose in front. T-Bear couldn't get the second shot off his stick. He's back with it. Ready, 
And I think the headers got caught with too many men on the ice. We'll see. The Rams fans were barking for it. This is a huge call. An enormous call. Two minute power play for the Rams. This might be their last chance. The Rams fans getting excited about it. Headers, student section starting to bring the noise. Back in Leo Burge, 421 left, two spot. And the power play portion of the scoreboard for the Rams. Their second power play of the game, they're 0 for 1. Headers are 1 for 1. Looking through the slot. It connects on the far side. The shot's high. Gray, the trigger man. They were looking for Darcy in the slot. Darcy gets a piece of it. Takes a peek at the goal, puts it on Burge, and he kicks it aside. This goes up, it scrapes the ceiling. That'll turn into a face-off. Another defensive zone draw for the headers. 3.39 left in the game, a minute 19 on the power play. The Rams player, I think, discarded from the face-off circle. Not sure, they stopped it twice. It's Sedke and Gray in there. It's off the boards, it's a race to it. Sedke tried to poke it ahead of his counterpart, number seven, Cullody, and couldn't. Cullody cut it off nicely. The Rams will gather with one minute on the power play. They come out from behind their net. Played up to Gray. Back to him. He gets knocked off his spot. Milne comes in. Darcy misplayed it. And he gets it back. The shot deflected right off the stick towards the corner. The shot on target, bounces out of the glove of Burge, rebound. Second shot from the circle goes wide. That one had some smoke on it. Rams keep it in. Final seconds of the power play. 10 left. Flipped past Darcy into the neutral zone. Dolan lost his stick. The last chance as the power play expired and it's wrapped up by Burge. Gray the shooter. Burge with a strong glove all night long. 2.17 left in the game. Power play is over, full strength on the ice. Between the number six seed headers and the number two seed Rams, they'll fight it out five on five. First spot in the state title. The Rams need one. The headers trying to hold on. Wales behind his own net, trying to clear. It's cut off. Shannon has had a strong game and another nice play there to keep it in, but it eventually pops up onto the headers bench. 2.02 left. The arena has been rocking all night, but right now it's pretty quiet on the Rams side, on both sides actually, as everybody's kind of holding their breath. See what the final two minutes brings us, and we'll have a timeout called on the ice. The headers call it, they talk it over, in the defensive zone faceoff coming from the far circle. 2.02 left. It has been a scoreless third quarter, third period. 
And Burge and Cedrone have both played absolutely outstanding today. Doing everything that they can in their power to send their team to have a chance to fight for a state title at the Garden next Sunday on St. Patrick's Day. What a day in Boston that will be. The day of state championship hockey games along with St. Patrick's Day in one of the biggest cities they do it in in the country. Should be a ton of fun for whatever ever team and fan base gets their chance to go. Right now the headers are 2-0-2 away from punching their ticket. They beat the three seed Situate in the round of eight to get here. This is the two seed. They want a chance at the one seed, Nosset. Nosset and Somerset Berkeley Regional meet tomorrow in the other final four matchup. The headers with a chance to go 3-2-1 and hoist a trophy. After starting the season 0-6, it would just be incredible. They got to hold on here for the final two minutes and Burge makes a huge save and it plays through the slot and out of the zone. That was just off the stick of the Rams attacker. That's on net, a big rebound. Sedke got a piece. He cut off the second chance from Considine. Burge with a couple of huge saves. Extra attacker out there for the Rams. They're offsides. Now they check up. Kulati takes a huge hit. Now they got to get back again. They dump it in hard off the boards. It bounced. What a save! This is going to be very interesting to see what they call here. Considine picked up the loose puck. He had Burge on his stomach beat. But Toby Grenier jumped in the crease to make the save, but then one of the headers came flying in the crease and looked like he intentionally the goal off its posts in order to stop play, which would make this a penalty against the headers, and it would give the Rams a penalty shot with 109 left. The refs are talking about it. They're discussing with Darcy. This is pretty unbelievable. Everybody in Stoneham Arena on their feet. The standing room only. Packed house to see maybe one of the more epic moments in MIAA tournament history. James McKenzie goes to the box for the headers. 109 left in the game. Two minutes for the Rams on the power play. There's no penalty shot. That was what I was hearing from the fans around me. They're going to start five on four, but Cedrone is halfway off the ice. The drone will stay on because the headers possess it. They get it above the blue line. It's caught underneath the ref's skates. He's trying to get off the ice. It's now beneath the blue line. So drone stays on the ice. Under a minute to play. Five on four in favor of the Rams out there. The puck squirts free. They keep it in. A diving effort by Cullody to do it. It's on net. Turned away by the stick of Burge. Gray fires. It's cut off. It's loose in front. Knocked around, behind the net, played off of Burge, out in front, above the circle, two on two, back the other way, an empty net, Hart can end it, it's cut off. Save made by Darcy, back the other way come the Rams, two on two, into Burge's stomach and he covers it, and he falls on it, pushing and shoving afterwards. But Leo Burge with 16.4 left. Covers up the puck and may have just saved, made a championship save right there.
The Rams still on the power play. 16.4 left, and it looks like they're gonna call a timeout. Cullity for the Rams goes to the bench with his head down and crunched over, but they have nothing to hang their heads about. What an effort here in the final minutes by both sides. A heck of a hockey game, just as we expected. The Headers fans coming to life. For the final 16.4, they want their team to hold on. What a game by Leo Burge. And all of the headers defensively. Toby Grenier, not sure he's had a save yet this season, but you can credit him with one of the biggest of the season. Hopping in there when Burge was down. Playing goalie, keeping the Rams out of the net. Unbelievable. What a game. Both fan bases rise to their feet. Six skaters out there for the Rams. Six on four, empty net on the other end. 16.4 left. Hart flips it out of the circle to the blue line, one-timer, save made by Burge. A heater from Gray, and Burge up for the challenge. 6.1 left as the puck deflected up into the netting. Rams win the draw, they push it on Burge, and the referee Again, preemptively blows the whistle. Three seconds came off. Are they going to redo that face-off? Or, or they said he had it covered up. Clock is right. 3.1 seconds left. It's got to be a one-timer for the Rams. Darcy takes the draw in the Rams, and that does it. The headers are going to the state championship. They win it two to one over Shawsheen. From 0-6 to a chance at a state title, the headers' magical season continues all the way to the garden. Absolutely incredible. Kyle Hart, London McDonald, and Leo Burge made it happen here this afternoon. Knocking off the number two seed in Division Three for their shot at a state championship. <laughs> Got to give Shawsheen their due. What an excellent game. And Mike Cedrone was fantastic in net. But Leo Burge, one goal better this afternoon. And the two goalies meet at center ice, shake hands, give each other a shoulder tap, and the teams will work their way through the line. One final message from the MIAA. A well-rounded education is one that is not only academically oriented, but one that also includes physical, social, and emotional development. Interscholastic athletics provide the other half of education. The MIAA encourages you to support your local high school athletic teams throughout the school year. Keep an eye on all our social media pages for the details 
of the championship game. We know it will be at the Garden on St. Patrick's Day. The time is to be determined, but we will be there, and so will the headers. The number six headers win it 2-1 over the number two seed Shawshin Rams here at Stoneham Arena in the final four. For all of us here at MHTV Sports, thank you, John Caswell. Great job on camera and producing the game as always. It's a pleasure. I'm Jess Burton. Thank you for watching, and we will see you soon.